Here comes that guy from <laughs> Dead Man's Curve. Those hooligans. You're all insane. <laughs> we get that a lot. Thank you. Hey. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Montville, New Jersey, at the world-famous Hot Rod Farm to visit the Dead Man's Curve Car Club. You ever see a car club with this kind of cars, though? No, it's pretty right. crazy. <laughs> I've known these guys for quite a while, and they're one of the more interesting casts of characters I've ever met. Are you all out on the work release thing? The weekend? Probation. Pretty much, yeah. And they build some of the wildest cars I've ever seen. Gasser vets, I just, it, does, it just doesn't seem to go together usually, but for you guys it does. Well, Corvette people hate you. <laughs> right I, off the bat. I believe that. <laughs> so I thought, let's get the guys together and have them bring some of their cars over. And we'll just see what happens. I'm oh, feeling this is kind of a normal time for you guys. So let's see what happens. Why the obsession with gassers in the group? It's just cool. It's just cool. You know, it's just cool. <laughs> it's all about the look. Everything about cars and horsepower and motors and metal working. And this is what we do. We all got our own garages at home, all set up and ready to go. <laughs> you guys live this life. Don't oh, you? yeah. If you're going to build a gas, you're hanging with the best. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. But you got to be accepted. I was made, you know? <laughs> it's like one of those things. You're all just totally nuts. Yeah, we like to be different. That about sums it up. Uh, just about sums it up. So, start your engine. Yes. <laughs> On with the show. <laughs> Rich, this is really all your fault. Is that right? Uh, you could say that, You yes. could say that <laughs> here at the world-famous Hot Rod Farm. And this is one of the cars that started it all. Is that true? Yes, yes. So Dead Man's Curve Car Club since 78. 1978. When did you build this? Uh, I finished it in 1976. I, I started in 74, put it on the road in black primer in 75, painted it in my farm barn in 76. And most of it's the original lacquer paint that I did back then. Were gassers in this neck of the woods big things? Were other people building these, or were you kind of out there? Well, it was all the rage in the early 70s. Uh, this is a little extreme. It's what, you, it's what you call a street freak. You couldn't get them jacked up high enough back in the day. <laughs> Just basically wanted to look really wild, really cool, and uh, be streetable. And you became kind of the master of these straight axles. Yeah, I've probably done 50 of them or more, and uh, we got it down to a science. It, yeah, it, it <laughs> works really well, the steering, everything works really good and, on the street. And you will put it on anything from what I've seen. Oh yeah. You don't, don't, don't care. The it's... crazier the car, the crazier it ends up, you know. <laughs> Raider wheels. Yep, something I loved ever since I was a kid in the 60s. And so what's the engine in this thing? It's a 327 Chevy Corvette motor. Bought it brand new in the crate in 1975. Really? Wow. Took the uh, double bump heads, put on it, and uh, I've run it over 100,000 miles. We freshened the motor up three years ago. And it You've runs run this over 100,000 miles? Yes. So this has been rolling around Montville, New Jersey since 76. Yes, painted like you said. Painted see it. like this. Yep, just since pretty 76. much. Yep. With Dead Man's Curve, it's all kind of about the camaraderie, too. This is an interesting bunch of guys. Yes. Three guys started it. It just grew. It grew. And we you're all... still doing it? Yes. You're still doing it? Yes. Since 78. Yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> you're my hero. <laughs> Well, you're my hero. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now, Ed, this is one of the original cars in the club. Is that right? Correct, yes. So built when? Uh, I got it in 1978. I traded my 55 Chevy for it originally. It didn't look like this, obviously. No. I mean, was it a stock uh, vet? or? No, it, it was an old drag car. It had a uh, 427 uh, 69 L88 motor oh, in that's it. that's pretty cool. But it was it was never finished, uh -huh. you know? And, um, then I took it all apart and I took the engine out, which I shouldn't have, but, um, and I put a small block in it. But this thing's been rolling around since the late since, 70s, just like this too. Just current. like Rich's, Rich's Basically, yes. one of the original cars, you must be one of the original members. Yep, yeah, one of the founding members, yep. Oh, Me, Rich, um, and another guy. And you guys just live to tell about it. I'm yeah, just... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, yes. So was she, was she lifted like this? Was she raised like this when you got it? When I got it, no. Um, it originally had stock suspension, and then years later, I was like, it's not high enough. We always wanted to do a gasser. A so gasser we, vet. Gasser, a gasser vet, vet. So we went even higher. <laughs> and you, so you're still running a 350 or? It's a 327. 327. Two 500 carburetors. It looks like a period manifold there yep. too. Where do you guys it's find this stuff? Where do you find digging. this stuff? Digging. Dig, dig, dig. We huh? dig, 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 exactly. Jeez. Uh, what would you say characterizes Dead Man's Curve? The friendship. Yeah. Just how well everybody gets along. Um, like I said, it's, it's all friends before car club. And then if everybody's into the same thing, 
we just go from there. And it's all about the cars. It's all about the cars. So 59 vet that's been totally gassed, and I'm sure the Corvette guys are just thrilled about that. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. They oh, love yeah. it. They just <laughs> totally love it. But I gotta tell you, it's, it's one bad vet. Thanks. I Thank love you. it. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. <laughs> You're insane. We're watching my classic car with So Mary, when I when I met you at the Wild Hot Rod party, and then we saw you again at the Wild Hot Rod weekend, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know you had the, the the green willies. I mean, it's a spectacular car, <laughs> and you brought that again today. Yep. As well as three other cars. So why did you gas her the Falcon? Well, I was inspired by an old ISCA show car called Tarantula, and uh, I liked the look. And uh, you know, we we really into the gassers, and I. You know, I figured I'd like... Uh, like, why not? Why not? <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. But then, but then you bring this baby. This this, this is awesome, man. I wanted to have something that we could just like tool around with. That. It's a Manx. It's really a Manx. It's a 1965 Manx. Yep. It's a good tool around every day. Fun car. A fun car and a true classic. But I tell Absolutely. you... Absolutely. This is it. <laughs> this is... <laughs> this is a showstopper. This thing is crazy. This is so 60s extreme, yeah, if you ask me. That's the whole idea. Dot tub. So what's the deal? What do we got? Well, it's a it's a uh, 1923 T touring car. It's a it's a glass body. It's a Steve Archer body. He only made like a hundred of them, so it's a very rare glass like, like body. Like when? In like 1969. 69. 69. Yep. The car was built in 1972 by famed uh, hot rod builder Randy Bianchi, and it went through a few hands. And another club member, actually Dave Hanley, uh, had bought it uh, in the early 90s. He did the radicalness to it, and then I redid it about five years ago to this way. So, um, what's this setup? That is a weigh-in, yeah. six deuce carburetor setup on top of a blower, as you can see. Uh, I had made these pipes with 67 and a half degree bend uh, for the scoops. I wanted something higher to raise over the roof. Of course. To give it to the radical look. Of course. And I love uh, how they're pinstriped inside too. Yeah, we had that all done. You're not a tall guy, thank God. Because, no, because thank because God you is right. You couldn't sit in here. Otherwise. Well, you could. Uh, you actually, yeah, you, it's actually comfortable once you're in here because it's actually a stretch. The seat was taken back. This was okay. originally was a four seater tub car. The tub. The tub. The, the, the tub. tub. Love it. Yes. Well, Jeff, this looks pretty healthy. What, what's your history with the club? Well, I'm actually the fourth member. Really? All right. There was uh, Rich, Ed, and a friend of ours, Keith, that started the club back like in 78. 78. Right. And I came around in 78 and a half, 79. And I was always into cars. Mm -hmm. And I met these guys hanging out at Burger King. And, uh, <laughs> and the cool. rest, as they say, well, yeah, is history. history. That's right. <laughs> exactly right. So this is gorgeous. I mean, this is one shiny, shiny ride for this group. Thank of course, you've got some shiny rides in this group. What do, what do you have? 32. Right. What's the engine? It's a small block uh, Chevy with a wind blower on it. It's pushing about 500 and something horsepower, that's I guess. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's a little Rear healthy. wheels, what are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Imagine that's good. What are the odds? <laughs> it even has slicks, I'd imagine that. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine. Um, most of the work was done right here at the uh, Hot Rod Farm. The w actually, the welding and everything. Is, is, that, is that really what you guys, I mean, do you really hang out here and just work on each other's cars? Well, um, to an extent. Rich does most of the welding here uh -huh. for us. He's the... Uh, Ace welder. welder, yeah. And he helps us fabricate the stuff, and then we take it back to our own garage, most of us, and finish whatever we're going to do, put the motor in, you know. So you have a shop, um, too, that you work out of your own place? It's, yeah, I, yeah, I guess it's a shop, 10-car garage, which is... Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a shop. I, guess. A sh I, call, I, I call that a shop. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely a good bunch of guys to, to hang around they're, with. They're great guys. We, uh, you know, if somebody needs some help or something, we're all, we're all there to chip in or whatever, and uh, whether like, it's a build or... It's or crazy. What. I mean, the, there's a there's the Wild Hot Rod party that happens here. That's I was here a few years ago. Yeah. That's, that's yep. a blast. Yeah. Now oh, you're doing yeah. the Wild Hot Rod weekend. Yeah, which is exploded. exploded. Oh, my God. Yeah. When, when, since you were there, we doubled the capacity. We just blew it. We blew yeah. right out of water it's last cool, year. It's cool, though. I mean, yeah. it's really cool. Yeah, it, it is. And uh, thanks for coming out to the world-famous Hot Rod Party. Hey, how could I, how could I not? <laughs> <laughs> and a beautiful day in Joyce. Beautiful day. <laughs> So, Danny, you brought three cars today, right? I got three, got yeah. Three. This, this, one, this one's very nice. How long have you had this? This one I had about 10 years, and like all three cars have either been barn finds or garage finds. Really? It, so, yeah. I mean, this looks like an old drag car, actually. It was. It's from the 60s. It's period correct. And, uh, you know, everything here is just stuff that you would build back in the day. And it's got three and a half inch off the headers instead of like the normal. That's why it sounds the way yeah, it does. Almost, yeah, it really does. Yeah, we did it special. Right then, off you got, the then you got the, the Rat Fink uh, this tribute was, back here? Yeah. This is uh, for Big Daddy. This Ed is Ross, big, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I grew up with, all this building his models and everything like that, right down to the... Uh, you got the you got, I the, got the tattoo. tattoo. <laughs> I got the rat fink tattoo right on me. You really okay. you're serious. Yeah. Okay, one, two, what's the third car? 
The third car is the Nova. This was found in Yonkers, New York, in a garage. Uh, this guy had it, an old man. Uh, it's basic 100 body. It was a six cylinder, three on the tree. Were you doing gassers before you started hanging with the, the Dead Man's Curve guys, or is this part of the disease? You caught it when you started hanging with them. No, my disease started when I, in the <laughs> 60s when I was a kid. You, you've oh, had yeah. it for a long time. And then, you know, when I hooked up with these guys and I saw Rich's 55, which has been around since 1974, that was it. I mean, you know. It's loud and it's got that look and I just want, I didn't want anything fancy. I just wanted it, you know, plain Jane. I love it. And it rumbles. It rumbles. It rumbles. I dig it. Uh, another cream puff here, Mike. Uh, <laughs> now this is, most of these things are like hopped up, fire breathing monsters. This is a bit of a different take on it. Yeah, this is, um, you know, it, how I see it is an old 50s, you know, hot rod, an old four banger in there. Yeah. Uh, and, and I wanted to leave it traditional. Uh, you know, everyone asked, when are you going to finish it? And I said, it's done. It's done. What do you, you, know, what do you mean finish? Uh, you know, <laughs> there's, there's other cars I'm working on that'll, you know, they'll be more like some of these other ones that are out here. But this is just a fun car to run around. I, I think I spend more time working on it than driving. Just earlier this week, uh, head was off it. I had to go through it. Uh, it, it had got some water in it seized up so i had it all apart honed it all out back together pistons back in it what's the what's the carb set up well what first of all this is a a, a 30 it's a 31 the car but it's yeah. a 32 uh model b you know 32 roaster uh, okay. four banger uh and it, it is uh this is an old zephyr manifold from the 50s and these carburetors are stromberg 81s i mean oh, everyone, everyone runs little. the 97s, 97s like rich right. has yeah, and yeah. so on but but with 97s two of them are too large unless you've got some big cameras. he just drowned it he drowned it exactly yeah. so they run real well on there that is a wee end high compression aluminum head on there that was an nos piece in the box when i bought it wow um, it, it has an anson valve cover uh, it was just neat 50 speed equipment on it. Where do you guys find all this stuff? You know, it's eBay. <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful thing for yeah, the car hobby. It is, it is. It is. Uh, and, and, you know, we, we go out to Carlisle uh, and to Hershey swap meets. And, and just and, dig through and everything. And we spend days out there and just, just search for people's junk. And, you, you know, you, you find beautiful things out there once in a while. It's got character. Yeah, yeah. Like, like most of the people in this club. It's got uh, character. Yeah, we all have uh, unique you have, uh, things about each of us. And yeah, like, <laughs> that's a nice way to put yeah, it. Yeah. No respect. None, none at all. <laughs> cool, man. 31. Excellent. Love it, man. Well, Rich, it's great to see you again. I mean, the first time uh, I met you was actually at the World Famous Hot Rod Party for the Wild Hot Rod Party. And you had the, the Green Pilot, yeah, which is my, just a magnificent thank car. Thank you, my 48. That's just, oh, I love that car. This is, <laughs> this is a Ford Cortina, right? Ford Cortina, what they call a Mark I Cortina. It was my first car, I was still in high school. And I started hot rodding way back in the early 70s. And was hot rodding that big in 73 back in England? It was. Oh, yeah, right, it really. really kicked in. Well, this, this is a, I mean, this is a wild car. But you came rolling in, in this blue bomb over here. I love yeah. this. Let's, go, let's check this baby okay. out. You know, there's a lot to look at here, there really is. And you know, not the least of which, of course, the engine. But but I think what caught my eye when when you came in was the roof on this car. This is a '34. This is '34. But you, but it, it's, it's a, a solid steel roof. Yeah, this was a this is factory built. Most of them came with the canvas insert. Right. Because Henry couldn't produce them with one piece steel. But uh, I found this in Argentina, just the body, and shipped it back, and purely because I wanted it with a one piece steel roof. Uh, because it looks, the compound I mean, it just is correct. Looks awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. And they also they did 32s as well. We, we really can't find out why um, Henry had them done, but he did. And all for export. And export all to only. South America, South, South Africa. South Africa, South America. Of course, you slapped in 331. 331. Yeah, it's a smaller one of the two because it's got runs a 39 um, Ford top loader trans three speed. 392 would just smash it to pieces. Having said that, I'm on my third trans and my second <laughs> rear, so. Oh, it is, I mean, this is beautiful. She's I, mean, I, love, I love the pilot, the Cortina's great, but yeah. this, the roof is so good. Yeah, the roof was a lot of work. And you, I mean, you actually have a shop nearby too, right? Yep, you know, mostly cars for myself and a few other little bits and pieces like this. Just, just for the, just for yeah, the fun, right? just for the fun. Pretty fun bunch to hang out with here. Oh He's, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's an understatement. You've been to our shows. <laughs> Very yep. cool, Rich. Good Thanks, show. Dennis. Well, this is cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Dave, what, what are we looking at? What year? This is a 34 Ford cab. Uh, it's a real steel cab. Bought it as a kind of an abandoned project. Came out of, out of Tennessee from Jason Graham Hot Rods. He, Jason Graham was working this? Yeah, it's a completely custom built chassis, drop beam. It's a 396, 350 horsepower stock, and then I did it over. Wow. Pipes are handmade. 
Yeah. So, I mean, you, you, you do that kind of with the guys here? Or you... uh, yeah, I, I build all my own stuff and so I drive got, it all. Yeah, you got a every, shop and stuff? Yeah, it's all built in my house over in North Jersey. <laughs> you're a man. Thanks. <laughs> and you just do this for this, you're just doing this for yourself. This uh, is just for I'm fun. In, I'm in the asphalt business, so I get paid three or four months vacation every year. So <laughs> Called I sit, winter? Yes. So I sit in the garage and I build hot rods. You have to come see my new one, what's going on, but that's man. another story. So 396, you don't see that used a lot in, in these. I love big, I put big blocks in everything. Yeah. Big blocks. It's a, a full manual Freddie Brown Turbo 400. Uh, you, you have to shift it. There's no drive. By the way, these tires are ridiculous. Yeah, I couldn't find any bigger ones. So. <laughs> and they still don't hook it. It's basically just all business. It's Dana 60, 410 Posi. It's a four link. Oh, what a cool look. And it, it just, it works. Uh, I run like blazing the tires down the track, like low eights in the eighth mile. Absolutely really? loose all over the place. It's something I, I drive when I can. It's it's fun, you know, but it, it is driven, you know. Now, have you got these baffled at all? Or? Right now, I, there's a muffler in each one, yeah. Okay. When, when I run it, I take them out. When they're open, the way the cab is set up, you have to wear earplugs or a helmet. It's it's deafening. It's I believe deafening. it. And is that an, is that an old? Uh, high, uh, That's an old manual? wind. Yeah, it's all old stuff. I build all my stuff out of junk. Where'd you find the stuff? I collect for ever. I've been collecting. I got so much stuff. I could build four more cars out of my basement. My gosh. Just, so you know, you know these guys for a long time. You... Yeah, too long. Too long. Yeah. <laughs> too long. We have a lot of fun. You know. <laughs> this is like kind of my beater. You know, it's got attitude and it. Can be got, driven and it's got attitude you that's know? for sure of course that's most of the club the club's got attitude yeah i love it thank you very much cool so june you've been with the club quite a while yes 1983. so not long after it's its creation in yes 78. In 78. And, and you've been hanging with this this bunch of derelicts ever since, since then wow yeah, it still am so this is yours yes it's a 1927 26 steel body model a frame 1953 317 Lincoln. Really? Yep. A 317 Lincoln. 317 now that's, Lincoln. Well, I saw, I saw the, the, the Lincoln valve covers. I figured yeah, that was just it's you're real. joking. It's no, real. It's real. You know, this has got some interesting stuff on it. This is sort of a sleeper. You, you look at this. Oh, yeah. Kind it's of all nice kind of rad pickup. Vintage, yep. I like the uh, Schlitz. Uh, My Schlitz shifter. shifter. Yeah, yeah, I've had that for a collection of years. Lincoln horn button. Lincoln, early 50s. I like 51, that. 51, 52. How does it drive? Does it drive very well? I have no issues. It's very reliable, I have to say. I have driven it quite far. You've had it to all the uh, Dead Man's Curve events, mm, I'm sure. Even before I even started building it, I first <laughs> brought it out when I had a pile of parts, and we brought it out first year. This will be a started. car someday. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Jim. You're very welcome. Very cool, man. So, Andy, I met you years ago uh, at a show, and you had that insane 61 Piner wagon, and I was like, what is that thing? Then you built this even more insane bubble top fury. I was like, what is that? And that's when I realized I really had to get to know this club better because you guys are, are totally crazy. So you brought those two and three more today, like this vet. This is a 60 out of all the cars that I have. My wife and I enjoy this one the best. We go out in it all the time. We put a lot of miles on this every year and it moves. And got that crazy little 61 Rambler over there, which I'm sure you're going to do something with because it's pretty stock. That, and you, that's a time you might warp. Just, you might just leave it, huh? That's a time warp there. But, but what you brought is your real fine 509. Model A. This really sounded healthy. And you got a 409 crossed out 509. I saw it come in. The first thing I said, oh, it's a 348, you know, because of valve covers and everything. Right, right. But, oh, no, it's 409. Oh, no, it's not a 409. It's a 509. And then, and then some. So what's the engine? It's aluminum block. Which started as a 409 and was bored out or what? Yes, it started really? as a 409 and it was bored out. Um, the intake manifold uh, is a one of a kind. I've never seen another one uh, like it. There's a, there was a company called Custom UFAB back in the 60s, and it was sold as a kit. And you had to put everything together. I, I just, I um, love the mirror firewall. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, it's, firewall. Just, it's so cool that you guys, well, you guys are a crazy bunch of guys anyway, but to, to get, bring everybody together, you know, 40 cars, it's not even all of them, but I mean, there are car shows that don't have this many cars. This is just the cars that you guys have. And you yeah. all have, you know, pretty much you all have shops. You all work and stuff all the time. Yeah. Some of the shops uh, are, are pretty cool. Yeah. Some of the cars are pretty cool. Andy. You gotta take me for a ride. All right. <laughs> you sure? Real fine. You fine sure? Now. Yeah, well, no, let me think about that. <laughs> you know, hanging with the Dead Man's Crew, guys, is an absolute blast. And I'm always thrilled to come away in one piece. Check out their show, Joyce. Yeah, yeah, 
that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Hi